how to make or how I made a mid-century minimalist styled couch back bench or what I'm calling my half moon bench. Let's get into it. I started by rough cutting three six quarter walnut planks down to just over five feet. Then jointed, planed, and trimmed them square. After that, I used bar clamps and calls to laminate the bench top. Once the glue cured, I sanded away the minimal squeeze out and lamination floss. Before I used a straight edge jig to trim the bench top down to its final dimensions. Next up, the legs. I started by laminating four squared off cuts in pairs of two to achieve the depth I wanted. Once the glue dried, I set about cutting the 17 and a half inch legs. Then use a combination of the table saw and the planer to get them perfectly squared. Once the legs were cut, I used the table saw and crosscut sled to cut the recesses for the bench top. I started by cutting the outermost shoulders, then cleared the remaining excess in between. In measuring these cut points, I accounted for the total width of the bench top, plus the two inches of cushion that would rest between the bench top and the top of the leg. This would give the cylindrical pillows a perfect perch between the half moons. With a good dry fit, I set about working on the skirts and stretchers. I started by marking the prepped pieces to mirror the width of the legs, then cut them down to size. After cutting them down to dimension, which was the distance of the interior faces of the dry fit legs plus an inch to account for the half inch tenons on either side, I used the table saw and cross cut sled to clear the tenons. With the tenons cut, I used them to mark three sides of the outer edges of the top mortises on the legs. Then cleared a bulk of the mortise with the Forstner bit marked for the correct depth. I cleaned up the edges and tuned the mortise to the right fit with a mallet and chisel. Then used a very similar method for the mortises holding the lower stretchers in place. After that, I cleared a pair of lap joints on both the skirts and the stretchers that would connect four cross stretchers to either end. The top pair would help support the full length of the bench top. The bottom would help add stability and keep the bench from racking.
Once those were done, I used a scrap piece to determine the depth at which I would need to clear the mirroring lab joints, then cut them into the cross stretchers. With that done, I gave all the pieces a preliminary sand down before starting on the half moons for the legs. For them, I started by flattening an offcut. Then measured three and a half inches from perpendicular sides to find the center point of a seven inch circle. After that, I anchored the cut piece to a piece of scrap to both keep it in place as well as create an anchor point for the circle cutting jig on the router. I then incrementally used the router and a gouge bit to cut out the exterior edge of the circle. Using the same anchor point, but an adjusted jig, I cut out the inner circle. I did this two times before heading to the table saw to cut both circles in half for four half moons. Then trim the bottom of each half moon flat to make joining them to the legs a little easier. With those ready, I turned toward cutting the lap joint and the tops of the legs to hold the half moons in place, with the interior circle edge sitting flush with the top of the leg. Then I rounded over the outer edges of the legs. All that was left cut-wise was finalizing the end details for both cross stretcher sets. For the top ones, I opted for a 45 degree miter to create a slicker profile. For the bottoms, I wanted to round over the blunt edges. Then it was all about the finishing level sand down. the final glue up. I started by putting together the upper skirt slash stretcher frame. Then anchoring one side to its pair of legs before placing the bench top in its recesses and adding the bottom stretchers in their mortises. Then I place the other pair of legs before flipping the piece upright and clamping. With the clamps on, I place the final pair of cross stretchers. Once the glue cured, I set about gluing the half moons into place.
With those sturdy, I added two oak half line pins to each leg to ensure they stayed put. Then gave the bench quite a few layers of tongue oil before calling it a wrap. Until next time.